we face. David Haynes was a tireless humanitarian worker who helped Muslims not just in Syria, but in Bosnia, South Sudan, and Libya. Two weeks ago, he was murdered by terrorists simply for being British. His murder followed the equally barbaric killings of James Foley and Stephen Sotloff, American journalists who were reporting to the world the plight of the Syrian people. The terrorists who murdered David Haynes like to call themselves the Islamic State. But I will tell you the truth. They are not Islamic and they are not a state. <laughs> Their actions have absolutely no basis in anything written in the Quran. What they believe has no resemblance whatsoever to the beliefs of more than a billion Muslims all over the world. And, like all the other Islamist terrorist organizations, they have caused the deaths of many thousands of innocent Muslim civilians. They occupy large parts of Syria and Iraq. This hateful ideology has nothing to do with Islam itself. And it is rejected by the overwhelming majority of Muslims in Britain and around the world. The Quran says, O mankind, we created you from a single pair of a male and a female and made you into nations and tribes that ye may know each other. It says, let there be no compulsion in religion. So let this message go out from this hall that the extremists will never succeed in dividing us. Let the message go out that we know Islam is a religion of peace and it has nothing to do with the ideology of our enemies. Let us stand. <laughs> and let us stand side by side with the British Muslims who are coming together and saying, not in my name. <laughs> we must do everything we can to defeat this ideology and prevent the radicalization.